Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we've got more cards on the Pokemon card 151. We've done a bunch of these videos lately, and the reason very simply is... These reveals have been coming thick and fast. There have been much more regular, much faster reveals for this set than we're generally used to seeing when a set comes out. And for that reason, ladies and gentlemen, we need to have another look at them. And let's start off today looking at a redonkulous Psyduck because look how amazing the art on this Psyduck is. I think it's another new artist, actually. Which is kind of amazing. Obviously, we've got the regular art on the screen here as well. It's it's fine. It's actually a really fun card. It's during your opponent's next turn, any coins they flip are treated as tails. So, if your opponent tries to play something like a Cramomatic, for instance, that is going to come up tails. And how many times, you know, I've just come back from streaming the Turin special event over in Italy... A little bit e less echoey now on the audio because I'm not in a giant cavernous hotel room. It was a really large hotel room. But we saw time and again big Cramomatic flips. Flips where you make it and you win the game and you don't make it, you lose the game. For decks that might be relying on a big Cramomatic heads to go and search out any card they want from their deck, they're not getting that with this out. It's a very low HP basic Pokemon. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that this is some kind of game winning card. You're going to play this and win every game or anything silly like that. But I'm saying that, and it doesn't even do any damage. But I'm saying that sometimes this will give you time to set up by stopping your opponent setting up. And that's kind of cool. Also, come on. Look at the absolutely stunning artwork here. I cannot be the only one that is absolutely flawed and overjoyed by this just phenomenal, phenomenal artwork. Fine, it's not a particularly amazing card in terms of playability, but you better believe that artwork-wise, this is one of the coolest we've got. But there is a gold up coming in here as well. Oh, I should mention, of course, that I have done the translations myself, but checked with the lovely Antoine Boulet to make sure I've not done a silly. So in terms of the gold up here, we got 110 HP, which is quite low for a stage one, but it's not the end of the world. Free energy, 120. Yeah, not good enough on a stage one, let's be honest with you. But one colorless energy, lifeguard. That's what the lovely Antoine Boulet has translated it as. And you get to search your discard pile for four Pokemon and put them into your hand. That is really good recovery for your Pokemon. But it's an attack on a stage one. So you've got to get your stage one into play and then use your attack for the turn in order to actually take full advantage of this. No. It's a really nice recovery. Don't get me wrong. But it, it's not good enough, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry. Although it is fun to point out there is a nice combo here with Starmie. Because Starmie's got the ability Fishy Star. That lets you put two damage counts on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then if you did, you discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. It's still very little damage in the grand scheme of things. But obviously, if you're doing the damage using the ability with Starmie, then use the attack to recover it. It's not going to work very often. But it is a fun little combo. I'm going to go ahead and give this one between two and three Wossies. I don't think we can have a stage one recovery card that does no damage while it just recovers. I don't think that's going to work. But look at the art on that Psyduck. But if you're looking for something a bit more competitively viable, it's, it's not the Porygon. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I want it to be the Porygon. We saw on that poster that was revealed a while ago now that we had a Porygon with a wall of text. We had no idea what this wall of text was, but there was a wall of text and this could have been a very, very interesting card. And to be fair, there is actually something really interesting and unique about the card, but it's not particularly good. Now, what it's got is Conversion 4. Choose either Grass, Fire, Water, Lightning, Psychic, Fighting, Dark, Metal, or Dragon type. The defending Pokemon's weakness is now that type until it leaves the active spot. 
And then weakness needs to be put as times two. Okay, here's the thing. On the one hand, this is really cool. On the other hand, I mean, look, if you change a Pokemon's weakness so that you can one hit KO it with an attack, why not just attack twice and KO it? Like, if you can do 110, you can either use Porygon to change its weakness and then hit 110, or you can just hit 110 twice. And to be fair, Porygon is a basic Pokemon with a colorless energy, so yes, maybe this is going to be easier than just hitting 110 twice, but a lot of the time you're going to be way, way better off just attacking normally. But there are two very interesting things about this card, though I don't think it's going to see any competitive play. First of all, Dragon Weakness? Dragon Weakness doesn't exist anymore. There is no such thing in the standard format as Dragon Weakness. The last cards that had Dragon Weakness were Black and White Kyurem EX back in Legendary Treasures. We haven't seen Dragon Weakness since Legendary Treasures. That was literally the last set that printed any cards that were weak to Dragon, and that was a decade ago. Literally a decade ago, November 2013. This should come out in English, or July 2013 in Japan. So literally a decade ago. To be clear, I don't think it's particularly good or relevant, but the fact that we've got Dragon Weakness for the first time in a literal decade is actually kind of interesting to me. Uh, it's also fun to point out that this is very, 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 very clearly an homage to base set Porygon that, of course, had Conversion 1 that changed weakness to whatever you wanted and Conversion 2 that changed Porygon's resistance to whatever you wanted, which was very cool. If you're wondering about Conversion 3, hang on a second, where's Conversion 3? That was on the Porygon that came around in Evolutions, which of course, in and of itself, was basically just a modified reprint of the Porygon that came around in the base set. As a fun little side note, this is the same. Like, it's got the same resistance, if nothing, the same weakness, Retreat cost, typing, HP, and the exact same attack. Except it lasts longer. So the one from Evolutions was until the end of your next turn. This is until it leaves the active spot. So it is a slightly better Porygon from Evolutions. And it's still got that same kind of 3D artwork, which I really appreciate. And look, competitively, no, it's not great. But oh my word, I love this. I am in love, ladies and gentlemen. I am in love. I want all of these Porygon. I want them in every language. I want every possible version. It's not good, but Porygon is my second favorite Pokemon. It is my original favorite Pokemon. I adore Porygon. I want all the Porygon love. Okay, what about something that could actually be competitively viable? Well, how about the new Sea King? You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's a stage one with 110 HP. Initially, it looks pretty, um, pretty underwhelming, honestly. It doesn't look particularly good. But it's got the first attack that for a single water energy does 10 damage and flip a coin if heads prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. So you basically get immunity on a coin flip and you're like, okay, fine, I suppose. But it's on a stage one and it only does 10 damage and it's not exciting. And then you look at the name of the attack. It is Swim Freely. Oh, Oh, now we're in, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are in. Because, you see, we've had Swim Freely before, including the Finneon, and I'm clearly going to use the um the, the, the pre-release promo here because look at the wonderful Okacheke artwork. Also, I now have the staff version of this card. Thank you. I'm so happy. It's such a cool card. I'm looking at it right now and I'm absolutely delighted. So thanks to the lovely person that sent that over. I am absolutely overjoyed. Point is, Finian's got the ability Oceanic Accompaniment 
As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a water energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon that has the swim freely attack. Oh. See where we're going with this? The problem is, all the swim freely Pokemon were kind of rubbish. Because you had Luminion that was free energy 120. The Vinian itself was single energy 10. Uh, the Dugong was shuffle any amount of water energy from your Pokemon into your deck and it does 40 more for each card you shuffled in. But then you had to get them back out, which was a problem. And then the Seedra did 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each water energy attached to it. But it was only 20 times. It was too weak. None of them had a good enough attack. Swim Freely never got a chance. All these cards came around in Lost Origin. And Swim Freely never got a chance. Because all the Pokemon that had Swim Freely had terrible attacks. Well, I've got wonderful news for you, ladies and gentlemen. This has by far the best attack of any Swim Freely Pokemon. For a minimum of three colorless energy, 60 damage, plus 30 for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. And the thing about this is, it's not 20 times, which is way too low. You're not shuffling energy into your deck and then having to muck around trying to get them back out of your deck like you are with Dugong. Here, you just whack energy on and you smash. And I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Four energy on there. That's a crucial number we'll get to in a minute. Four energy on there. You do 180. That is going to get single prizes and some weaker EX Pokemon. And actually, this will be a great opportunity to mention Luminion. But this time the EX, and I'm going to show you the alternate art of this because it's stunning and I like to show it off at every opportunity. It's not Okacheke, but it is absolutely stunning. Weirdly, I've pulled full art and special art Luminion from packs, but I've never pulled a regular art Luminion. That's just weird. But then you can keep going. If you attach a fifth energy, then all of a sudden that's 210. That will get some, but not all the X's. And you can keep going from there. Yes, you do have to attach quite a bit of energy in order to get this rolling. That's a little bit awkward. But don't forget that we do have our reprint of Superior Energy Retrieval. Which is coming in Powder Evolved. That's a very big thing, ladies and gentlemen, because now I can start getting those energy back. It's discard two cards from your hand, but you get to get four energy, from basic energy, from your discard pile back into your hand. And they do go straight to your hand, ready to attach with Finian. And yeah, this is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely awesome. Is it still a bit too much? Maybe. I'll be honest with you, it might still be too much. It might still be asking too much of us to get this much energy on every turn. I admit that freely going in. Get it? But I'm telling you this right off the bat. We have got a situation here where you've got a basic Pokemon that can attach all the energy... A stage one that can do big damage. And sure, you do have to keep recovering the energy and that is a little bit of a pain. But don't sleep on the fact that you can be KOing multiple prize Pokemon with a stage one single prizer while you're accelerating energy of a basic. The only real challenge here is getting the energy. I love this. I'm giving this four Wossies. And I know I might be getting overly excited. I am absolutely fine with this. I am willing to admit I might be getting overly excited. And I don't particularly care. Because this is the kind of thing that could be genuinely good. This could be like a genuine rogue deck that starts coming around and doing well in the future. And I, for one, am absolutely all over it. I'm loving it. I'm excited. It's wonderful. Go team, ladies and gentlemen. Go team. Right, there we go. I think that's what you need to know for now. So now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me anything you want to tell me about this or any other card from Pokemon Card 151 in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And of course, you can get shoutouts on the channel. 
like the lovely Landon Dastrup, who's been one of our supporters for a very long time here and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.